Well, I certainly want a powerful U.S. military, a capable one, because we are the last bastion, the last guardians of freedom. However, I want it coherent. I want it responsible to the taxpayer. I want systems that the troops can really use. And I agree with many of the points Bob made. For instance, the F-22 was supposed to cure cancer, $350 million each. We've had it for 10 years. As near as I can tell, it has never flown a single combat mission that, to Great. engage an enemy. We've got carriers that are, are wonderful tools for showing the force. They couldn't survive in a war with China. Colonel, let me ask you this question. Because the, the Pentagon, and I'm, I refer back to the New York Times from, from today, they assume more risk now. They acknowledge that meant more of these troops would die. And then Chuck Hagel said the following, that it means that we're entering an, er an area where American dominance in the seas, in the sky, in space can no longer be taken for granted. Why does that, why do I interpret that to mean if we're not going to be the dominant military force on the face of the earth, isn't there going to be some other country likely not as friendly to freedom that fills that void? Yeah, well, you know, I don't necessarily like it, but to an extent we are the world's policemen. We have to pick which marital spats we get in the middle of, but we need a global capability. And by the way, even though I'm here saying the army is going to be too small, we're going to cut troops we really need, the best trained troops we've ever had in our history, I'm nonetheless a believer that this is primarily a maritime nation. Yeah. 400 years ago, Sir Walter Raleigh said, he who controls the oceans controls the world. In a war with China, and that's a big elephant in the room that nobody will talk about. If that's what Hegel is talking around. If you have to fight China, the only way to fight it is control the seas. Yeah, and well, our Navy won't be able to do that. You know, the, the British learned that lesson about controlling the, the seas too, Colonel, if you remember, and they uh, they became the, the country that, where the sun never set to the one that barely op goes over the sky in London. But leaving that aside, I agree with you, a lot of what you're saying here, but we do, you know, it, it, there's a thousand generals and admirals in the military. We don't have any, they, they don't even have a rowboat for some of these admirals. I mean, why do we need to have this top-heavy uh, officer corps Well, we don't need them, number one. And two, I couldn't agree with you more about China, except this. I think the Chinese are the most dangerous single threat to the United States, more than, the, 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 than Islamic terrorists and everybody else combined. But when Sean says we're not going to be the pr predominant... Uh, Chuck uh, Hagel said it. Okay, Chuck, well, I don't, if, whoever said it, the fact is we spend more money on our military than Russia, China, and Iran combined by two. Now, who in the world is going to take over our First of all, the Chinese... Well, well, but, Go ahead. It, sorry, it, it's how you spend it. The Chinese spend it a lot more efficiently. The waste in the way we do defense acquisition and contracting. Basically, we pay uh, a big defense contractor to build a system. If it doesn't work as advertised, we pay the contractor hey, to fix if it. If we don't dominate the seas, the sky, and space, and we can't take that for granted, Bob, I, I shudder to think who fills that void. Do that you, ought to make do you agree with you. the colonel and me that there's massive uh, waste? Of course there's waste, fraud, and abuse. Government is running efficiently. That makes the case against well, health care, by why, the way, which, too. Which is why we should do away with a lot of these contracting agreements that we have. These right. guys haven't produced on time. They don't bring their... And the stuff they do bring to the forefront isn't used. All right, guys. Good to see you. Take Appreciate care of the it. troops.